is already the second time. Okay. The first time that we experienced the laser pointing of um, the Chinese Coast Guard was uh, June last year. No? Post ang Coast Guard dito, ay nagkaroon sila ng temporary blindness din at skin itchiness, no? yung pangangati ng balat. Distance, it's very far. You cannot just buy that from everywhere, from anywhere. These are uh, solidly invented, and if not, uh, sold at a higher price. The intention of that is uh, part of a, uh, the sophistication of your military upgrade and hardware. Assuming that uh, it is a simplified device, how could China use that in a complex and contested uh, West Philippine Sea? when in fact their objective is to secure their own territory. Uh, you cannot just use um, an oversimplified um, technology uh, to protect their territory. We could see that uh, there were uh, instances where uh, China have also used this technology not only with the Philippines but uh, including to other uh, like-minded nations just like um, they used this uh, to Australia in 2019 and in uh, early 2023 uh, using uh, the uh, aerial uh, laser device and uh, they have also used this uh, against um, American vessels in 2020. It would pass as a classroom pointer or any laser pen available on online markets. The size of the beam also appeared that big in the video because of the dispersion and other atmospheric phenomenon. However, the laser used is categorized as Class 3R laser based on international standards, which possess biological hazards with extended time exposure. The size of the beam appears to be that big in the video due to some atmospheric factors, example water vapor, fog, and other particles or atmospheric phenomenon that could have dispersed the light, causing the increase of beam diameter in appearance. Given the 4 nautical mile distance, the laser beam can technically reach the Philippine Coast Guard crew exposing them between 5 to 10 seconds based on the video to the non-ionizing radiation the laser emits. Hence, based on international standards, the output power from the provided specifications, which is 5 milliwatts, classifies the laser as 3R, which possess harm to the eyes and skin of the exposed individual with extended time of exposure. This means that regardless of the type of laser, may it be a regular classroom laser or a military-grade laser, the user of the laser should be responsible for its use and consequent 
biological hazard. After all, international standards are set to warn and regulate the use of such radiation-emitting devices, ionizing or not. You have the uh, 1990 uh, Protocol on Blinding Lasers that emanated from the Geneva Convention uh, way back in 1980s, upheld in the ICRC or the International Committee for Red Cross uh, against uh, the use of um, weapons that can blind any soldiers or um, anyone. Now, we cannot yet invoke the Mutual Defense Treaty unless there is a very serious and um, very um, deep conflict that we will be seeing. The other options, strategic options for the Philippines is to continue with its uh, military modernization, which we have seen in countries that are most insecure. We've seen that in Taiwan and uh, our uh, neighbors in the South, Ch- uh, our neighbors in Southeast Asia, where they have also teams in the uh, South China Sea, 